Hi, I'm the Scrub and you're here for one reason. And now it's time for my favourite part of the Heaven's Ward expansion. What does that say? The Guide for Never Reap! Oh god, this is going to be torture. Does anyone know where I can get a pizza delivered to the Sea of Clouds? I'm willing to pay double. Time to learn about Never Reap. Simplified. Head forward and talk to Tonu Vanu. You will be given five Thunder Eggs. You will use these on the Cloud Altars. Interact with the Cloud Altar to spawn an air current to launch you to the next island. Pull everything on the first island. Watch out for the Wormora's Kona AoE as it will give you an Asunerable Poison dot tick if you get hit by it. Kill everything. The darkness surrounding the Cloud Altar will dissipate allowing you to interact with it to create another air current and launch yourself to the next island. Watch out for the tornadoes on this island. If you run into them, you'll be thrown into the air. The easiest way to avoid the tornadoes is to have the tank pull everything onto this rock that is almost opposite the Cloud Altar. Do your best to avoid the Kona AoE from the Wormora and the small circular AoEs from the other mobs. Mitigate appropriately and kill everything. Interact with a cloud altar to launch yourself to the next island and its first boss time. Feely Plumes is a tank buster. Side Slip is a room-wide AoE. Better Squall creates a few AoEs below party members and around the arena. Just move out of them to dodge it. When you get the boss under 90%, it will coat the arena in a very thick fog and put a stacking dropsy dot tick on everyone. Every 9 seconds, the dropsy tick will increase by one stack up to a maximum of 16. Party members will need to run around the arena and locate the boss's shadow. When you do so, you will be given the buff of heightened visibility. As long as you're inside the wispy circle on the ground, you can attack the shadow. A few feather orbs will spawn around the arena. You will need to burn them down quickly. If you ignore them, they will explode and give a stacking volume to everyone in the party. When you defeat the shadow, the arena will return to normal and your dropsy dot tick will be cleansed. The boss will repeat the shadow mechanic when you get it below 50% and will repeat all other mechanics until it's defeated. Interact with the cloud altar to launch yourself to the next island. This next pull is gated by a wall. Pull everything to the casting black mage voodoo. Kill everything. If you decide to pull everything in the next area, watch out for the vespers. When you get their health low enough, they will start casting final sting. This will always hit for 70% of the maximum health of whoever is targeted. If you are tanking, this may kill you or come close to killing you and you may have to invuln if it finishes casting. Thing. It's best to focus down the Vespers first while you're dodging all of the AoEs created by the other mobs. If you're not confident, I'll recommend just pulling the Vespers on their own first to burn them down quickly. Head over the bridge, and it's second boss time. Barnu Stripe is a quick casting and heavy hitting Conal AoE, so make sure you dodge out of it when it appears. The boss will turn to a random party member and cast Mora Cloud, which is an Asunerable Bleeding Dot Tick. Sacred Totem will create a pulsing red marker above random party members' heads. After a few seconds, a Vanu Totem will appear where the marked players are standing. The boss will then start casting Totem Chant, which will create a large purple circle which will attempt to cover as many totems as possible in the arena. If a totem is still in the circle, when the cast finishes, it will come to life and tether itself to the boss. The boss will become invincible and gain a damage up for every totem tethered to it. You'll have to destroy the totems if they come to life to break the tether. To avoid the totems coming to life, you can interact with them to pick them up and remove them from the circle. When you pick up a totem, your hotbar will change to having only one ability, which is set down. Just press this when you're out of the purple circle and you'll place the totem down on the ground wherever you are standing. The boss will only repeat these mechanics until it's defeated. Head forward and interact with the cloud altar, which will create a new path. Watch out for the water geysers in this section as that will give you a dropsy debuff if you stand in the water. You'll know you're standing in it by your vision becoming the inside of a soda stream bottle. Run forward until you come to a small water barrier where three extra mobs will spawn. Watch out for the Kona away from the large mob as it will give you an Asunerable Volna. Kill everything and the water barrier will subside. Pull everything until you hit another water barrier where more mobs will spawn in. Kill everything. Then walk forward to be blown into the arena and it's final boss time. Finn Rays is a tank buster. Overflow is a room wide AoE. The boss will slowly gain stacks of evasion throughout the encounter. When you get targeted with crosshairs, a water sprite called Divine Mist will be placed where you are standing. It's just an ad you can defeat it quickly. Watch out for the tornadoes as these can knock you into the air. When the boss gets eight stacks of evasion, a scale pattern will appear around it, causing every attack on the boss to miss. The boss will then begin to move around the arena in a straight line through where players are standing. If you get hit by the boss, he will damage you with Vacuum Wave. If the boss starts moving towards you, just move slightly to the side to get out of its path. Several wind sprites called Divine Gale will spawn around the arena and will begin auto-attacking random players. When these have been destroyed, the boss will stop in its tracks and start casting Turbine, which is a knockback from its current position. If it's in the center of the room, I'd recommend using your knockback immunity, but if it's off to the side, just position yourself to be knocked back to the largest area of the arena and you'll be fine. If you don't position yourself properly, you might get blown off the edge. The boss will repeat all these mechanics until it's defeated. Congratulations, you have beaten Never Reap. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.